everyone. Today we're going to start doing some different nails again. And um, for this video, I'm going to teach you guys all how to do very different um, tips onto the nail so that when you um, come up with the designs for your own nail, you can use some of them and so that um, makes your nail design more special. So yeah, let's try it now. So um, as you can see, I've already got the base coat ready again. And um, the first tip that I'm going to show you guys is the typical um, French tip. But um, today we're going to do it in different colors so that you can see that um, even if you change the color around a bit, the French tip can still be a very, very cool design. So today for this one, I'm going to work with a light blue. So the same as um, when you do straight lines, you want to make your brush all even. And then starting from the edge, you want to go from the edge upwards like that until you have created half a dome. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. Remember, where you have started on the other side, you want it to be balanced. So around here, you want another dome shape. Sort of like that. And now you can fill it in. And very easily you have created the French tip. Is that um, with the French tip, you can actually create a lot more designs based on this technique. And um, here I have an example. As you can see, it's um, the blue that I have just used, I used it on this one as a base and I applied two more different blues onto it. As you can see, if you cover this one up, it just seems like a very short nail with a French tip of light blue on it. But all you have to do for this one is you want to draw the same dome shape but um, on the bottom of the nail and fill it in downwards so that you have created a very um, short looking um, French tip nail like that. And on the top, you want to do the same thing. Um, for the French tip nail, typical way of filling it in. And now you have created a more interesting looking little um, nail with um, three sections to it, which is all just painted with the same basic technique of applying the French nail. Now, for the second one, I would like to show you a different tip. It's the sharp end tip. So, um, using purple this time, I really like this purple. It's a dark, shiny purple. And, um, Again, because it's the um, it's a straight end tip, so you want to load your brush as if you're loading it up for a straight line again. And what you want to do is again choose an edge, start from it, and go upwards and draw a straight line like that. Similar to the French tip, you want to balance it out and start from the same level on the other edge and go upwards creating a V-shape like that. And then simply, you can just fill it up. And here you go. You have a V-shaped straight edge tip on your nail. So usually other people um, just stop right there and um, just draw this simple tip and apply gemstones around the edges or things like that. But um, what I want to show you is that with this technique, you can complicate it and make it into a lovely looking nail like this, like that. And um, with exactly the same technique, all you have to do is again choose a point, whatever point this time, on the edge and draw a straight line. Go down into whatever point that you want into the nail and draw another straight line. Keep going until you fill the whole nail and then fill it up all on the top. Um, you can also do it the other way around so you can actually color it on the bottom um, depending what you want to do and what is easier for you. But um, here you go with the sharp edge um, technique you can create a million trillion different designs onto your nail just like that. This one I'm going to use um, this brown looking um, nail polish. Another good thing about um, brown nail polish is that it appears to be um, looking like chocolate onto your nail. So um, it creates a very um, nice effect when you want to draw like sweets or like um, cute styles onto your nail. Brown is a really good color. So um, for this one, I'm going to show you how to draw the cur curtain tip. So unlike the other two tips, it's a tip that is curved so it has no edges. 
But because we're drawing a line instead of a dot, we still want our brush loaded as if we're drawing a straight line. So again, I choose an edge on the side and just glide it through, drawing a curve like that. So as if you're drawing a quarter of a circle onto the nail. Same on the other side, balance it out and then draw an edge. And here you go. Fill it in. And now you sort of have a curtain looking drapery tip onto the nail, like that. The uh, curtain tip and the straight edge tip might look a bit um, similar, but um, if you compare it, you can see one of the ones, um, it drapes downwards a bit and it lifts up again, whereas the straight edge one goes straight up like that. So um, here's another example I have made, but I have actually made three draperies. So you can see there's one here, second one here, and the third one here. And um, it looks like a curtain, and by adding on gemstones on the either um, lifting up point here, you can create um, an image looking like a, a curtain onto the nail. So um, this one will need more stuff on it in order to show its effect, but the drapery um, tip, the curtain tip, it also very useful when you want to design your own nails. So here you go. So from all the tips that we have just created, I've also added on gemstones to show you how um, much of an effect that they can make even though they're so simple. Um, so here it is. For um, the French tip one, for the first one, I've applied pearl stones onto the edge of the example that I've made. And for the one that we have made, I've applied um, white crystal gemstones onto it. And as you can see, um, even though I've drawn the French tip as, as a dome shape, I've applied the gemstone into a more like a triangular shape to give it a more um, special looking effect. For this one, it turned out really, really well. Um, the gold, this one, um, applied green gemstones onto it because they're contrasting colors. And um, immediately it looks really, really bright and sharp. And um, I believe it will turn out really well on your own nails. For this one, it might suit more um, um, people with more um, of an elegant or a simpler style because um, even though this, um, the straight edge is very, very simple, with just three gemstones right out the tip right there, it makes the whole design look very special and very easy to be matched. And um, for the last one, the curtain looks. So um, this one, as you can see, the brown and the pink and the white really makes a very, very cute looking pattern. And for this one, I'm sorry about the camera, but I've actually applied very, very small little um, pink balls onto uh, the nail. Um, those ones you can actually also buy at uh, nail accessory so stores. So, um, and then I applied different gemstones onto it. First is a dark pink one, a light pink one, and then at the end I've ap applied a pink pearl gemstone. So it has a very different um, look to it. Um, also for the last one as well, it's a um, white gemstone, pink gemstone, and then a pearl pink, and then uh, another bigger size pink gemstones. For these ones, it will all, always look better if you had different um, variations of sizes and types of, of gemstone onto them, because um, the actual curtain um, design is so simple. So um, here you have it, different designs with different types of application of gemstone onto it everyone watching my other videos um, the gemstone video is doing very well so um, thank you and I hope to see you again bye bye